Let's head down south now. Fond du Lac. They didn't make headlines during the season, but not an easy out in the playoffs. They're also in Division I. Fond du Lac. Well, they would need another upset if they were going to move on. Taking on two seed Germantown. And it was Germantown up 7 0. Dwayne Lawhorn to Connor Shoes. And he's gone. 46 yards. And it's 14 0. Fond du Lac. Well, they would need some answers in this one. The defense would come up big for the Cardinals here, forcing the fumble. All right, so that sets them up in good field position for the black jersey fellows. This would be Quinn Wolfel here. Air in this one out, Brian Luton. Oh, <laughs> diving grab. That's got to be in top plays. Tell me it is. That was their only score on the night. However, Fond du Lac eliminated. They fall 34 to 7. How about Manitowoc hitting the road, traveling south to take on Arrowhead, all Warhawks. Johnny Duranso, long run for him. In for the score, and then the Arrowhead defense, well, they would come up big as well. Manitowoc problems handling the ball. Arrowhead would pick it up and would set up another touchdown eventually as they dive on top of the loose ball. The aforementioned touchdown still coming up. Arrowhead, though, they would cruise in this one, 45 to 17. We're moving into a very busy division, too. Ashwaubenon, a one seed. They got a scare in the first round. Jaguars did move on. As for Menasha, as dangerous a five seed as you're going to find, shown all year, they can hang with anybody in the area, anybody in the state. They meet up tonight. The Blue Jays, they're a five seed. Ashwaubenon, like I said, number one. Jaguars on offense. Look at Jaden Sell, the great ankle grab force in the punt. And Menasha would cash in. Dylan Chez, look at this, takes the pitch, turns on the Jets, breaks the arm, tackle. 56 yards for the score. And they're on top. Ashwaubenon, when you got James Morgan, you're never out of it. The D1 talent quarterback airs it to Jake Monroe. 26 yard score. Ashwaubenon's defense playing well. Dane Syag getting the pick. This one, however, still in the fourth quarter at last check, and it's Menasha on top. 42 22, looking like the Blue Jays are going to move on. How about DeForest and Oshkosh North? Early game tonight, still in the daylight. Students keeping the spirits high despite the rain. The ball should read slippery when wet. Robert Phillips hit. Zach Zangle the recovery. Spartans are in business. First on the board for North. Nate Nevue pulling it down. Good choice. Gone. 89 yards. This is a quarterback that I enjoy watching. This kid is electric. 89 yard score. 7 0. Then Nevue doing the nifty little shuttle pass to Dong Hoon M. He takes it 27 yards. Hey, North, look out. They're one seed as well. They win it 17 to 7. How about Kimberly, the band always fired up as the papermakers trying to make out with another win against Cedarburg. This is Isaac Melanson driven back. Look at this, stays on his feet and he's gone. 57 yards for the score. 13 7 Kimberly. Then Scott Shriver, a little pitch and catch to Jordan Jansen. Just like that, it's 19 to 7. Then Schreiber showing the patience, dumps it to Weston Guilfoyle. He does the rest. 30 yards. They started slow in this one. They would not finish slow, I assure you. Kimberly wins it 43 to 14. Moving on to Division Three now. Second seeded West Depier taking on third seed Xavier. Are you in the mood for an upset, people? Well, West Depier doesn't want to see it early. Alex Schmidt, there's a two seed, 42 yards down to the one. He punches it in. Very next play, seven nothing. West Depier. Matt. Ferris didn't throw a touchdown at all last week. He's trying to make up for lost time to Dan Reinhardt. Breaks some scores. He's in 12 7. Xavier on top. Still in the first. Ferris, he's got the state record for touchdown passes. And when Matt Kinderman's doing this for you, that's how you get some more. 19 7. Xavier hangs on. Two point win. How about the Hawks knocking off West to Pier? 30 to 28. All right, fifth seeded Seymour taking on top seed Wapaka tonight. The Comets defense fierce early. Dakota Oski sacked by a host of Comets later on the drive now. This is Oski. He's a point guard showing the wheels. Scrambles for a fresh set of downs. Would set up a one yard touchdown run for himself a few plays later. 7 0 Thunder. Then Oski doing it with his arm. Finding senior Casey Jeffson. He turns, turns on the burners. 48 yard catch and run down to the 11 set up another Seymour touchdown and how about the Thunder on a rainy night knocking off one seeded Wapaka 34 to 7 that means Seymour and Xavier should be a good